Hey everybody, welcome to the Falcon One-Shot. We're going to be taking a look at Immune here today. If you're wondering what Immune's all about, very good question is, um, YKY Mr. Falcon, yippee Kaye, Mr. Falcon to you. So we were just wandering around inside of this shed. Um, essentially it is a survival game. Survival crafting, I mean, nothing new, right? It's kind of a genre that we all are kind of accustomed to at this point. It is a big emphasis on multiplayer, though it's basically just an online type of game. You meet up with other people, you could either PvP, you could do some co-op and actually survive the wasteland here. As you can see over here, there is a, you know, food aspect, health aspect, there's a crafting aspect. I'm a little bit hungry right now, so let's actually go into the um, menu here. This is all stuff that I've been doing off camera. Let me go ahead and have one of these steaks over here, just kind of fill up my bar. I could probably eat maybe some berries, you know, berries and some steaks. Seems like a pretty good um, lunch, dinner, whatever it might be right now. Alrighty, so that's good. Crafting aspect. Let's look at the crafting over here really quickly. If you want to craft, we could actually make ourselves a little bit of a fire right now, because I've been gathering some wood. I'll show you some of the... um resource gathering here really quickly here. Let me go ahead and craft this really quickly. You actually level up in this game by crafting, fighting um, mutants. So we have a f campfire. Let me turn this bad boy on. A lot of the food that you will find in a game, you could actually um, cook. Whether it's killing actual animals for food, you'll get raw meat, but then you can kind of cook this. So right now I have a raw meat over here set up. Let's go ahead and drag this bad boy over here. The cooking is a little bit weird. You're essentially supposed to just drop it on the fire. So I think I did that right now. Let me move out of the way. That actually cooked really, really fast this time around. Usually it takes a little bit of time. So let me pick this up over here, and boom, we have a second cooked meat. So there's a little bit of a cooking aspect to it. You have to watch for your um, hunger meter, essentially. Let's um, get out of here really quickly, though, and um, show off what's kind of out here. This, these doors, by the way, actually built, and I fortified this area here by myself by the um, first level of crafting. You could build a fence, you could build some doors, etc., etc., to keep yourself kind of safe. So I found this little area which I, I liked because there's a lot of things you could kind of um, gather resources with. This over here is going to be your main area for metal. So if I just over here, just come over here with my fucking fist of fury and just punch this shit, as you can see, it's dropping some metal right there, which I'm picking up at the same time with E. You wonder how you cut down this tree? Use a hatchet to say? No, man. Fucking punch this tree down. Like, um, Paul Bunyan or something over here. It's gonna, it's gonna come down, believe me, it will. There it is. Fuck yeah, don't tell me I can't bring a tree down with my fist alone. Now, I want to show off some of the mutants, though, but I'm trying to not aggro, like, 50 of them at once. There's one down here, as you can see. Uh, let me get my knife over here ready. And here he comes. Okay, let me click on him. Alrighty. Ready? He might bring me down. These guys are, don't fuck around. Oh, brought him down before he brought me down. But as you can see, I almost died doing it. But I wanted to show that off over here, so he dropped some meat for us. I'm not sure how comfortable I feel eating that meat, considering, you know, he's a mutant. He used to be human, I have to imagine, right? So essentially, aren't you almost a cannibal in a sense because you're eating what used to be a human, even if he's not a human anymore? I'm not sure, man. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it. The bright side is that if you do die, you don't lose everything you do have. You will drop your backpack, but you do have a chance to kind of come back and pick up your backpack, assuming, you know, if you're playing online with a few other people, they don't actually come and, you know, loot you while you're dead. That guy's wearing a fucking hat. Look at that shit. What a baller. Now, before I show anything else off, I'm trying to find a vehicle here because... Let me open up the map over here. Let me see if I can find one because at the same time, while I like the whole vehicle aspect in terms of traveling around, it is also one of the most um, annoying things about the game because the car seems to handle like it's on ice. Like, it just slides back and forth, back and forth. It could be a little bit annoying. But, you know, I guess the first part would be actually finding a vehicle here. But we are almost in the next town, so hopefully... Oh, there's a rooster over here. Hmm. There's a potato as well, some berries. I have to imagine that you're probably being guarded by something, though, right? Oh, there is another one of those survivors I talked about. These are, these are the not good guys. They're, they're bad guys, so be really careful around them. Let's see here. Oh, Gatorade! Fuck yeah, Gatorade! I'll grab this Gatorade and this... Oh! Uh, go away, mutant. Is that mutant wearing bunny ears? I think he is. Oh, there's some beer. Oh, man, we're gonna get fucked up tonight. No, there's a pig. Sweet. This is what I need in order to get some more clot, I want to say. No, 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 pig. Get over here. Okay, get over here, Porky. You're not going anywhere. I will cut you with this fucking knife. I will cut you. Get over here. All right, 70 experience. Oh, he dropped some clot for us. Perfect. We might... No, 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 no. No, I didn't even pick it up. I was too scared. I panicked. Hold up. Pick it up. Oh, you know, I might... No, I thought I had it, like, I was out of inventory space. Look, dog. I don't even want to do this right now. I I'm busy right now. I'm trying to find a car. Can you tell me where a car is, though? That'd be great. Vehicles? God damn it. 
There should have been a vehicle in this town. I usually always find one over here kind of wrecked into the corner of something. Let's see about going down to this other little town. This is going a little bit longer than I really wanted to cover, but um, I really want to show off the vehicle aspect here, so I might actually cut off from here, guys. Alrighty, guys, so I came over to this town over here, and I did find a vehicle. I'm down over here now. That's the vehicle they talked about. I did notice this, though, which means that somebody else must have been playing earlier, and they must have died and actually um, dropped their loot. Because one of these aliens or, you know, mutants over here probably killed him. I want to pick this up. The only thing is I don't have any room in my bag right now. So we can probably have to find out if we have enough room to pick this up. So let's see. We have some berries, which you can hand take. And potatoes. These are uncooked. Water. Could be good. Let's see about just putting this over here right now. There is a dude running around, so let's be really careful. Grab all of this right here. So this is one of the assholes I talked about, you know. Um, somebody could be an asshole, like I just did right now, and come by and actually pick up um, your loot whenever you die and drop it. But right now, let's get into the uh, vehicle itself. Alrighty. Oh my lord. He was still standing up. Alrighty, so this is what I talked about. The control for this is with WASD. S would, you know, re uh, you know reverse. And then you kind of turn around with D, <laughs> the direction you want to go. But it just takes a, wa a long time. And oh god, alright, you do take damage as well on the vehicle. I'm not sure if they could hurt you. Well, oh, they could definitely hurt your vehicle, it seems. Oh, God, this is what I'm talking about, you see, right? It's just, like, very, like, Jesus Christ, like, what is going, just go straight? What's wrong with you? Now, let me see, before we end this, I want to see if you can actually run over one of these aliens. Oh, my Lord, you probably can, because they just ran over that bird. <gasps> this is going to be pretty awesome, so this is probably how you could cheese it a little bit, too. Instead of fighting these aliens one-on-one, -on -one, or mutants, whatever, just fucking run them over. It's got to go full speed ahead. Oh, Lord, one of them went down. Oh, I want to kill that guy. Hey, hey, you. Oh, there's a bull. <gasps> Bulls on parade! Come on. Keep attacking the bull. Oh god. The bull's pissed off. Let's see. Rewind. Go forward. Oh. 34 damage. It's pretty good. I'm not sure what the bull drops, but I guess we're going to find out if I could ever stop doing the spin around. <laughs> okay, stop. Stop here for a second, alright, game? You're out of control right now. Look at this shit, man. It's like I'm on ice. I'm telling you. Thought I was messing around. I wasn't. Alright, bull. Oh, you're running away now, are you? Oh, yeah, you would. You would. Now, this is how you fucking bull, um, back into home, back into range, where I grew up in. I actually didn't grow up in a farm. But, uh, oh! He's down! Yeah! <laughs> Did he drop into good value is my real question here. Hey, your body's kind of in the way. I'm not sure if you dropped anything. I hope you dropped some cloth for me, did you? You did, because now I have, um, 11 when I had 6. Meaning now we could actually craft something here. Let's go into, uh, bow. Yeah! Alright, so now we can do the bow. And... Excuse me? Crafted. Oh, I have no room! Oh, I have no room for the bow! Enough resources? Good. That's because I already made it. And let's see here. There's the bow! There is the bow. I have no arrows, though, so I can't really do much with it. I have to I could craft some arrows, though, which is... Let's see here. Arrow ammo. Now we need stones for that, which we don't have. God damn it. Alright, before we end this, let me try to get into this vehicle one more time and see about killing one of these um, humans just running around over here. Maybe this is the way to kind of go about it. Just cheese the fucking game a little bit here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at this guy. Why don't you come out here, dog? Yeah, come out here. No, no, come out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Come out. Come out. Come out here. I want that pig that you got in there. Oh, there's another. Oh, there he comes. I hate him for 81 damage. No, no, don't go back in there. Oh, you coward. You invalid coward. <laughs> what is this, a fucking game? I'm not playing games with you right now. Oh, my lord, it's like a... Mutant congregation going on over here, too. God, I can't control it. Oh, no, it's going to explode. Get out of there. Just get out of there. All right, this is the guy. I I'm going to kill this guy one way or the other. Don't follow me right now. I need to get my knife, at least. Wait until I get a knife, dog. See what happens then. All right, let's try this shit one more time. We're going to do this for John Madden right now. John Madden's EA football. Get over here. Shank him. Shank him. Shank him, I said. Are you out of ammo or something, or are you just broken? Oh, I killed him. Ho 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 ho! What do you got in here? Oh, baby! Got ourselves a sniper rifle. Am I happy? I'm damn well happy. Alright, guys, that's immune right there. Um, you know, early access game, there's still a lot to work on it, but you know, it's it's a fun little niche type of game. You know, it's something a little more different than your typical DayZ stuff. It's a little bit more cartoony. It doesn't take itself too seriously, it doesn't seem. But again, it's something that probably was a lot more fun with more people involved with too. I just took over this whole base now. This is fucking awesome. Alrighty, guys, I will catch you next time.